Elon Musk has predicted that electric cars are not the final destination of the EV revolution. So then, what is it, you may ask? If electric cars continue to evolve and get better and better, this can eventually phase out the most ICEs and gasoline-powered vehicles whatsoever. So, is there a chance for that to happen in this decade? And is California doing the right thing by pushing the phase out so soon? Let's find out. Using Tesla as a bedrock, Elon Musk has contributed immensely to the transformation of the electric car business. Elon has predicted that regular gas cars will disappear soon as the main transportation option. In a recent tweet, he said, It won't be long before we start viewing gasoline cars the exact same way we view steam engines today. He says, The residual value of gasoline cars bought today will be much lower than people think. Musk believes that internal combustion engines will eventually be restricted to museums. Musk tweeted that conventional gas power sources are a passing fad that would look nice in a museum. As the founder and CEO of an electric car company, Musk has long been vocal about the advantages of electric cars over carbon spewing. These fossil fuel guzzling vehicles make up most of the world's road transportation. However, the use of electric vehicles continues to rise. From the records, there are presently approximately 5.6 million electric cars on the world's roads. Tesla automobiles, in particular, account for the vast bulk of newly registered electric vehicles. However, conventional steam turbine engines continue to power many of the world's energy production for charging electric cars. From the official figures, only around 17% of power in the United States is produced by renewable sources. The remaining 63.5% is generated by fossil fuels, most of which create electricity by converting water into steam. Tesla set up a supercharger network in most of its operational states to ensure smooth and steady usage for its EV users. The Tesla Supercharger is a network of Tesla-developed and deployed proprietary charging stations. Consequently, the car maker no longer has to depend on third-party charging networks, as most electric vehicle makers do now. The Supercharger network was launched in September of 2012 with the first six supercharger stations. This debut coincided with the release of Tesla's Model S vehicle, which was the first to use the new network. Since then, the supercharger network has expanded to over 20,000 slots, all over 2,100 stations or hubs globally. North America, Europe, Asia, and even the Arctic Circle are all included. In North America alone, Tesla has exceeded 1,000 supercharger locations. Tesla said it's looking to the public for assistance in determining where its next superchargers will be located, as the company continues expanding its network of EV fast charging stations across North America, Europe and Asia. In a tweet, the company's at Tesla charging account said, Supercharger voting coming soon. Respond with location ideas. The responses with the most likes will be featured in the poll. The online survey is being conducted as Tesla prepares to extend its supercharger network to other electric cars by the end of the year. The expansion may help Tesla attract new customers while increasing traffic and revenues throughout the supercharger network. It may also strain the network, especially in locations with a large concentration of Teslas and other EVs. According to some users' tweets, the first known Tesla V4 supercharger will soon be built in Arizona. The 40 stall charging station will have solar panels and a mega pack to charge cars with solar energy. Musk responded to a tweet by saying, Supercharger centers with solar and batteries are the long term vision. Musk believes that except for rockets, all vehicles will someday be electric. There is absolutely no doubt in my view that all transportation, with the hilarious exception of rockets, Musk stated, everything, planes, trains, vehicles and even ships are included, but the issue is when the timeline will be. In a decade, 50% of all new automobiles sold in the United States will be electric. 
Owning a vehicle without self-driving capabilities would be like owning a horse in 20 years. I believe that in the long run, all automobiles will be totally autonomous. Musk suggested that all automobiles will no longer have steering wheels in 20 years. You'll just have it for sentimental reasons, he warned. Millions of employment places will be jeopardized when self-driving vehicles become the norm. According to Musk, automation would result in fewer jobs that a robot cannot perform better. There is a strong possibility we'll wind out with a universal basic income or something along those lines as a result of automation. Legacy automakers like Ford, General Motors and Volkswagen have made Tesla their major competitor. Tesla became the first automaker to surpass a $1 trillion market capitalization. The market valuations of Volkswagen and Toyota, the world's two biggest manufacturers by sales volume, are $100 billion and $200 billion respectively. Ford has a market value of $62.4 billion, whereas GM has a market capitalization of $61.3 billion. Despite this, the two American automakers sell millions of cars every year. This market trust in Tesla originates from the financial community's perception of the company as the EV industry leader when environmental concerns have become a principal focus in many nations. With its entire self-driving driver assistance system, Tesla seems to have a head start on autonomous technology as well. Full self-driving cars haven't arrived yet, but Musk's relatively quick climb to fame and overall market position gives him the authority and stature to forecast how the auto industry will evolve. Tesla has released the much-anticipated version 10.69 upgrade to its full self-driving beta to a small set of testers already. The most notable feature is not a problem patch or improved handling, it is the price. Musk revealed that the cost of full self-driving will rise from $12,000 to $15,000 for cars ordered after the 5th of September 2022. There is no news on whether the $199 monthly membership fee will also be raised. The upgrade also promises to allow automobiles to handle unprotected left turns, such as Chuck's turn, as detailed by Inverse last week. Chuck Cook, a better tester, has made many films describing a curve near his Florida home where the full self-driving system faltered. The automobile is stopped at a stop sign and must turn left into a six-lane road with a median in the center and traffic speeds about 50 miles per hour. Version 10.69 enhances the vehicle's ability to utilize the protected median to assist it in crossing the busy roadway, as well as its creep behavior, that is, the way the car rolls forward slowly during a left turn to attempt to obtain a better view of incoming dangers, as Musk said before the upgrade. California, the country's most popular state and the epicenter of American's auto culture, has announced a ban on the sale of new, gasoline-powered cars beginning in 2035, marking a watershed moment in the state's fight against climate change. The regulation released by the California Air Resources Board would require manufacturers to accelerate manufacturing of cleaner vehicles starting in 2026. The unanimous decision comes after California governor set a goal to expedite the transition from internal combustion engines. The transportation industry is California's primary source of greenhouse gas emissions, which has seen unprecedented wildfires, droughts, and air pollution exacerbated by climate change. The ruling is expected to have far-reaching consequences well beyond California, paving the path for other states to follow suit. At least 15 states including New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania, have based earlier clean car legislation on California's vehicle requirements. After 2035, the policy will not prohibit individuals from driving gas automobiles or purchasing and selling them on the second-hand market. The law permits manufacturers to offer up to 20% plug-in hybrids with gas engines by 2035. The law, however, gradually phases out such cars requiring 35% of all new vehicle sales to be powered by batteries or hydrogen by 2026, 
and 68 percent by 2030. According to the state, more than 16 percent of new automobiles sold in California in 2022 will be zero-emissions vehicles, up from 12.41% in 2021 and 7.78% in 2020. A federal waiver granted under the Clean Air Act permits the state to adopt stricter fuel efficiency regulations than the federal government. It has set an example for the rest of the nation to reduce car emissions. The capacity of California to manage automobile emissions has driven technologies like catalytic converters, which convert hazardous gases and pollutants in exhaust gases into less toxic substances. What are your thoughts on Musk's predictions? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Remember to check out our channel if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.